whom is made for them. But at times, you, have, you want to receive through the love. The, watch out. The person that you are uh, trying to receive with that left unconsciously from me hold the item back. It's only reminding you that it's more desirable. You will be angry. No. It's only reminding you that try and use the right. Or even when the person, you pick it or the person uh, this, uh, gives it to you, the person knows at once that no, you don't know it. I will not hold it against you but it is my responsibility to let you know and then we want to retune ourselves so let's try as much as practicable to bring it on board people are left-handed naturally as my dear sister asked yes and even in our educational institutions early time earlier times <laughs> when people get Children who are naturally left-handed, they are compelled to change from using their left hands and write and use the right hand in writing. Painful though, but some of them unconsciously because it's not part of them, but they were able to develop it. It takes time. Little kids when they are playing right from uh, childhood when they are playing, or you want to give them anything and they bring their right hand, you tell them no the left hand instead of no changing so gradually they get it it becomes part of them so we learn through what we call a process of slow absorption a process of slow absorption it's not like a light with a switch that you can just turn on and turn off for people to pick so but let's consciously try to do that my let me share one experience with you a Ghanaian stayed in Germany, brought the daughter to my class when I was teaching, Jennifer, as the name goes. And when I'm teaching, she was in class five, that's about age 10. When I'm teaching, this girl will always shoot up the left hand. I said, no, Jennifer, change. She will change, but the next time she shoots it up. And I, I was observing and I realized that when I'm teaching, this girl is always busy taking notes. She's not left-handed, she's right-handed, taking notes. And, you know, time management, she doesn't want to stop what she was doing. Are, are you getting me? Yeah. Uh -huh. And draw my attention, I want to ask a question. So I started to respect her for that. And I learned yeah the value of what she was doing. But then it took her also time to come out of that. So that is it. We all make provisions. I don't punish her for using the left or refuse to attend to her. I attend to her. And it took her time. And I'll prove that I also was able to learn something from her, that she was managing time. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your attention so far. Uh, we will be talking about some of these values, what makes us who we are, what identifies us as a people. There are many areas that we'll be going into. And please, feel free at any point, if you have any question you want me to answer, address, let me know. If I have the answer, trust me, I'll let you know. But if I don't have it, I'll be very candid with you. Sorry, but I will find out. Is that fine with us? Yes. Yeah, because no one is uh, this. Uh, knowledge is like a baobab tree. No single man's hand can embrace it all. Or in other words, knowledge does not reside in a single man's head. You know some, another person has an idea and all that. Okay? Now, I said, when we need your attention, we say, I go, right? And you respond, amen. Beautiful. But when you are moving in the community, when you are, for example, in the market or moving in the community, and you hear behind you, I go, 
there you don't say amen. You may be in the way someone behind you and needs the right of you just to pass. So what you do in that situation is to just look over your shoulder, see where the call is coming from, step aside and then let the person pass. So I cooperate in different scenarios. But in a situation like this, where I'm addressing you, I'll say I go. Then you respond, Amen. Once you respond, Amen, I know. So I go simply mean, excuse me. Or can I have your attention? Right, so far, all, all that we have said, any question? What well, is that? The first day, and as the wheels roll through the seconds into minutes, into hours, days, more things will come up, and then we can address them. I have my brother Muhammad here, <laughs> another great man. He's been interacting with you for the past days, and I know. We have a very solid team. Is Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, we just working it to, to, yeah. to, you know, we have a whole bunch of people coming next year in May, so we have to get prepared for that. Yeah, Mohammed, yes. how far are we from the uh, the water factory? Oh, it's just maybe five minutes. Yeah, so just wanted to keep post of that that way. And now uh, if you can you can uh, stop. <coughs> stop. You think I could, yeah. Just yes family, we're gonna cut and uh, break from here. We're gonna